Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading. Let's start first, let's shuffle the deck four times. Also a happy Virgo season and happy birthdays to all you Virgos. I want to start with the current energies. I see you very reflective, Virgo, about something that uh, is very dear to you. You reflect a lot. Um, it's not that you are feeling alone, but you want to get some alone time to find more clarity about the whole situation. I don't see you being much active. You, you think about commitment about how can you be or find in that relationship that is stable, durable, long-term. Some of you that were married in the past, you think about that marriage as well. Now let's see about what happened in the past. Let's see about what was the main challenge there. Ace of Pentacles. It was difficult to plant that seed of commitment with this person. That was the main challenge. Now what is affecting you right now in your subconscious? them having this distance to you, keeping this distance, being cold, moving on, feeling like they have left because they don't have any emotions there. This is affecting you in your subconscious. But how do you view this situation? It is causing you lots, lots of unnecessary uh, uh, stress and anxiety. There's lots of overthinking here. You want to get more of a free mind, a more calm and not think so much about this uh, situation. I believe that you think that if they talked and if they came back with a message of love or an apology, something like that, a message that has feelings in it, you will not have this overthinking anymore. You will not be so stressed anymore. Now, what you want to avoid is uh, being in a connection that is not harmonious and it does not bring you happiness. And what you are hoping for is balance, harmony, reconciliation. Or being in a connection where you both try to work together through the challenges to make the connection better. To find a way through the challenges. You know that it may not be easy always, especially for you that are a bit uh, perfect, critical on finding the best connection for you. That's normal. Uh, and sometimes... Uh, the other partner may feel some pressure, like they have to act and be perfect, but nobody can be perfect. Now you more you are more aware of that. You want balance, you want harmony. In general, you want the connection to be harmonious and uh, happy for both of you. Now let's see, what is the next uh, good thing coming to you in the near future? What is the next good thing coming to you, Virgo? I think there's a person that is coming towards you. They're walking slowly but steadily. And they will give you some more uh, stability in your love life. They seem more mature. They do have attraction. But they don't want to show it. I think this is a person from the past that thinks a lot about you. And they do miss you. They want to make peace with you. They want to reconcile. They're watching you. Now let's see about this past person. Let's see about their current energies towards you. Let's see about them. They are not talking. They are keeping the silence. Keeping their thoughts and feelings to themselves.
I see lots of disappointment and sadness from this person. They do have attraction towards you. They want to give to the situation. They want to reunite. They want that happy reunion to happen. But they have a big fear. A big fear that maybe that book is already closed. That cycle has ended. Now they are at this position where they are at crossroads needing to make a decision about the future of that connection. Needing to make a decision to let it end and forget it and start something completely new or to stay there and hope still. But I don't see them quite highly motivated right now or with the uh, I don't see much motivation or optimism from them to talk immediately. They are holding those feelings to themselves. It seems like they want to apologize for something. Uh, they want to start a new love story with you. But there's lots of sadness and disappointment from them. I see them reflecting a lot and criticizing themselves a lot about something they did. Or maybe they didn't do much for that connection, something like that. They know that their actions or inactions had an effect, a big effect on on the development of the relationship. So I see them wanting to start a new love story with you, but holding those feelings. Let's continue this reading in the extended with more details. Let's get deeper into this reading. Let's get hopefully more clarity about what kind of feelings do they have towards you? How do they view you? Their intentions for now? Uh, let's see about the energies around each one of you, the mutual energies as well. If you want to watch the extended of this video, you can find it now in the description box below this video. Or if you're uh, watching this from your mobile phone, you can just click the title, the description box will expand, and at the top you can find the extended link. Thank you for watching, see you in the next reading, and bye for now.